Hi everybody, this is Lee Garden 3 playing as the Soviets here. I am the Reds, because red is just the best epic colour that ever was invented. And we'll be doing a Stingray Rush. Let's have a look at our enemies first. Now he's also playing as the Soviets, and from what I can tell you early on, he does a bear scouting gun manoeuvre. Which is very good, but unfortunately this guy turns out to be quite a new player, like myself. So, you'll see later on it turns out to be a bit quite standoffish. Now these are the key points on the map. You want to get these refineries and these observatories so you can see what the enemy's doing at all times. You harvest the refineries on your left and on the right of your base on e even sides of the map. There are more space to cross but for this strategy you won't need them. Okay, what you're going to focus on is one you might want to send like I'm doing here is a bear out just to scout the nearby area. You're going to also want to capture maybe one or two of the little oil refinery posts outside that are in the middle of the map so that you can use them to get that little bit of extra income. As you can see here, Orange, or uh, Phil as we'll call him, is scouting the entire map with bears. This is an incredibly good strategy. Uh, as you can see, he can see from he can see anything that I do on the main ground area of the map. And this is what's good about this map in particular, is that it's just weak in, it's just begging for the opportunity for a naval a naval strategy. Now, what I'm doing is sending an engineer to just capture one of those ore refineries so that I can get that little bit of extra juice that I might need. The bears also help me scout out. I can see the enemy's got bears. I'm already beginning instruction on my port. This is what you're going to need for the entire thing. You just want to produce stingways. That's what you want to save up all your economy for. At the minute, the new player, also known as Phil, is continuing to construct more bears. Now, a few bears is good for maybe an early rush to stop infantry coming out of a barracks, or to scout a base, but um, excessive amount of bears really won't do you very good in the long run, especially if you aren't using them uh, constructively. Sure, he's got a couple at the main um, entrances to his base, you know, the uh, closing in points, but uh, other than that, he, he can't do much else. As you can see here, my engineer capture that refinery for that little bit of extra juice. Meanwhile, back at Epic Awesomeness HQ, we are constructing a um, generator core. Now, you're going to have to bear with me because I'm pretty new to this, so I'm just getting used to the names, and I'll just call, call them what I please. So here's your port, and here's your stingrays. That is it. Stingrays only. That's all you need. They're cheap, well, pretty cheap for, being, for playing as the Soviets, effective, and very, very useful for going to be on land and sea. Now, for this strategy to pay off, you may also want to build a couple of turrets, infantry turrets, and maybe just build a couple of fake infantry. I mean, I have the bear and the engineer there, but that might make the enemy think I have a ground force. It might keep him away from my base just long enough to perform this attack. I mean, um, I'm lucky he hasn't rushed. If he um, rushes your refineries, then there isn't much you can do than kind of lay off the sting... Oh, what? Um, I guess this game is too epic for some buildings. Never mind. Anyway, your, your stingways, you're going to want about... 5 to 8, depending on how much you can afford and how long you can beg to wait. I mean, I, I want to have enough force that I know I can build a, deal a big blow, but also defend myself if the enemy has enough units. Um, let's see, what's he up to? More bears coming out of his base. This guy loves them. But he, now you can see he's got a war factory up. And not only that, but he's building flat troops. This could mean pretty bad news if he uses them against me now, considering I have literally no defences. Meanwhile, my Stingray group is getting pretty large now. We have about five or six, which is a nice little group to have. Uh, on a bigger map, you're going to want more. It's just how many you think you can cope with. Micromanagement isn't essential here, but it might be useful to have. As you can see, he's building a lot of flat troopers. This guy's obviously quite a newbie in just the way he's building everything badly. See? Built a refinery there for some reason. It's almost like he's coming off Command and Conquer. You know, Tiberium Wars almost feels like he's trying to get off that. Um, you may have noticed that I built a refinery pretty late compared to the other. And to be honest, there's no reason for this. I was simply being very newbie at the time and just forgot to build a second. Uh, my stupidness astounds me. As you can see, we're moving out the Stingrays now. You, this is all you're going to need. You're going to have to hope that this deals a big, big block out, knockout blow to the enemy. If it doesn't, well, you have to wait and see. Meanwhile, Phil is continuing to construct a lot, a lot of flak troopers and bears. This man clearly has a fetish for bears. Or he just... 
I don't know. I mean, I've never seen this many bears used on the map at one time. It just seems a bit stupid to me. He also has very f in, in non-existent base defences, nothing defending his uh, refineries, harvesters, you know, not even a wall, just nothing. He's got all his men on his front line as well. This this is just a perfect example of when this strategy is useful. When the enemy's got a strong front line like this and he's guarding every entry point to his base, naval attack is definitely the guaranteed option. Now, I don't want to spoil it, but later on, if your attack fails but you still do a lot of damage and you need a cheap and better idea, you might want to build some airfields. Oh, here, sorry, I'm kind of narrating and talking at the same time, but here I'm indicating that you might want some turrets just to defend your base, just in case the enemy attacks. Once again, it's a scare factor. If you manage to push off a scout of a turret, the guy knows, guy will think you've got a ground force. Well, that's from my impression anyway. Um, this is, yeah, I don't know what I was indicating there. Um... If you want in a bit of extra income, you can even sell off your barracks after a while. You really won't need it. 